What is up guys, Delboy here, bringing you a prediction for Gennady Golovkin versus Saul Canelo Alvarez 2 for rematch. Uh, this fight takes place on the 15th of September and it goes down in Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena. Obviously, the first fight was very controversial. From what I saw online, the majority of people had Gennady Golovkin winning the first fight. I agree with those people. I felt that the volume of Gennady Golovkin was a bit too much and it, it won him the first fight. You know, he was, he was a lot more active than Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Alvarez had some success. He landed some good counter shots and good hard shots in general. But overall, I didn't I didn't think it was enough personally. But um, the first fight at this point is kind of irrelevant. Obviously, leading into the second fight, there was a lot of controversy. Canelo Alvarez tested positive for clenbuterol, and obviously he blamed it on contaminated meat. Whether you believe him or not is kind of irrelevant at this point. It is what it is. You know, Alvarez didn't really get punished, and here we are going into the second fight. Me personally, all I'll say is this. Look at what clenbuterol does for an athlete. Look at the issues Canelo Alvarez has had as an athlete and draw, and draw your own conclusions. Also, look at Luis Neri, another Mexican fighter. He tested positive for clenbuterol in his first fight with Yamanaka. In the rematch, he misses weight by five pounds. You know, but, but apparently this is um, just contaminated meat. Believe what you will. Like I said earlier, it's pretty much irrelevant at this point because we're leading into the second fight, so it's kind of pointless talking about it now. Um, but the second fight, who do I think is going to win? Firstly, I've got to say, a disclaimer, I do feel there's a high chance of fuckery going into this fight. Like I said earlier, man, we saw it in the first fight with the scoring, absolutely abysmal scoring, and in the build-up to the second fight with the whole drug testing issue. Uh, everything seems to fall right into Canelo Alvarez's favour. We've seen this throughout his entire career. And it's not a conspiracy theory at this point. Look at the scorecards in the Arislandi Lara fight. Look at the scorecards in the Austin Trout fight. Uh, even the Koto fight, he clearly won that fight, but the scorecards were way too wide. Uh, look at the draw card in the Mayweather fight. You know, some of the cards that Alvarez has got have been quite frankly disgraceful. And, and we're supposed to believe that this is a coincidence. Um, so I have to put that disclaimer in here. The reality is Alvarez does receive some very kind judging. But going into the second fight, who do I think is going to win? Firstly, I feel that Golovkin coming into this fight does need to make some adjustments. I feel he needs to employ a similar game plan to what he did in the first fight from round four onwards in regards to pressure and pressing uh, Canelo Alvarez, forcing him against the ropes, uh, forcing him to backpedal. Uh, I feel that Golovkin obviously needs to do that again because that's where he, he did have his success. But this time around, Golovkin really needs to incorporate body work. And in the first fight, he was saying and his team was saying that they avoided Alvarez's body because he was warned early on about low blows and they didn't want to get a point deducted. And in hindsight, given how he was treated in the first fight and how he's been treated in the build up to the second fight, maybe they, they was right to do that, but I really feel they've got to let that go and, and crack Alvarez to the body. You know, like I say, Alvarez in the past, his stamina has been questioned, his conditioning has been questioned also. So. If Golovkin can start sneaking some body shots in there while he while he pushes Canelo Alvarez back, while he makes Alvarez work hard, it's only going to be good for him, you know? Uh, I feel that Golovkin is a really good body puncher, but that's one thing in, in the first fight that he really didn't show because he was too worried about getting a point deduction. Like I said, he really needs to let go of that fear because body work against Alvarez, I think, will be key. Um, but apart from that, I feel that Golovkin, he needs to employ a similar game plan to the first fight. Maybe be a bit more consistent with his jab coming forward. Uh, Golovkin's jab, when, when used against Alvarez, 
especially in the latter half of a fight, was landing quite frequently. So again, when you're coming forward, don't just wade forward with hooks and overhands. Jab your way in. You know, push Alvarez back. You know, I felt that Golovkin's pressure was getting to Alvarez in the first fight. I really, really do. Um, just based on his body language and the way he was reacting and the way he was moving. So a couple of adjustments from Golovkin, I think, is going to make it harder on Alvarez. But, you know, Golovkin's another year older, so can he do that? Who knows? And as for Canelo Alvarez, firstly, I've got to say, he's been out of the ring for a year. So will that affect him? Will he be rusty? Who knows? But, you know, ultimately... Alvarez only fights twice a year anyway, really, so maybe it's not going to have that much of an effect. Alvarez, in the first fight, he was countering well um, when Golovkin was coming forward, um, but didn't really dent Golovkin at all. I feel that Canelo in the rematch, again, when he was moving backwards, one of the issues I had with, with, with his performance was the fact that he was moving backwards, and yes, he was evading Golovkin at times, but when he was actually moving, he wasn't really punching, you know. I would like to see Alvarez on the back foot use his jab, you know, when he's going backwards. Because when Canelo was in retreat, he wasn't really letting his hands go at all. You know, Can uh, Canelo really does kind of set his feet to throw his shots. And that's all well and good. He, he lands good shots when he does that. But on the back foot, he needs to be more active. He really does. Um, because he could give away rounds by, by kind of milling and not punching. So I would like to see Alvarez be more active when he's moving backwards. Uh, also, I felt that Alvarez, when he went to the body of Golovkin, he was having some good success in the first fight. I've got a, kind, I've got a sneaky feeling that Golovkin doesn't like body shots. Uh, I would like to see Alvarez uh, be more... Um, I would like to see him concentrate on the body more also. Because Alvarez is a very good body puncher. Um, you know, he, he throws those shots downstairs very well with good power. Uh, when Golovkin's coming forward, I think they're going to be there. The uppercut to the body in particular. I think Alvarez throws that shot very well. I think that's going to land. Um, and Alvarez, to me, again, just a couple of adjustments from the first fight would make him a much harder proposition for Gennady Golovkin. But yeah, they are pretty much um, just some of the improvements both guys need to make in regards to going into the rematch. Uh, I would list more, but I've, I'm kind of strapped for time, I've got to be honest. Um, who do I think is going to win the fight? Let's, break, let's just uh, get to it. I'll be honest, I feel this fight is going to be very close again. I think it's going to go to points, and I feel we are going to get another controversial decision. I think to the disagreement of many fans, Alvarez is going to win this on points. A lot of people out there will feel that Golovkin wins the fight, but the judges are going to give it to Alvarez. And pretty much since I've had this channel, that's the first time I've made this type of discrepancy. But with Alvarez fights, it's just got to be done. Look at the history, you know, it's, it's crazy, it really, really is. I can't really be picking Golovkin winning the fight on points. If I think it's going to be close. I think if, if, it, if it was an ideal world. I would pick Golovkin on points. But you know. I, I think any old reason to give it to Alvarez. They're going to take it. So I'm going to go with a Canelo Alvarez controversial points win. What do you guys think? Peace.